<clears throat> Give me a second, gentlemen. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Um, just trying to clear out this thing real fast. Okay, what I'm doing, what am I doing? I am, these things here keep breaking off on me, so I'm just going to take them off. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the brown shade, you know, because there's going to be about four or five different colors on this, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm adding ink to this. Then I'm going to go in and add some blues, a little greens, and then I'll go in with all my different tones. But I want to lay down my shadows first. As you can see, that's what I'm doing now, um, like here. So what I'm using to do that, and again, these little blades that go on the arm, I snap them. I snapped them off. It's my fault. It's not the. It's not NY3D Creations' fault. It's just when I'm handling stuff and I'm moving them around, it snapped off in my hand. So that's that's on me. That's not on anyone else. So just wanted to show you. Some of the ink, the way I do my ink work. Let's see if I can get this down just a little bit more. And what am I? What I'm using is, I'm using diluted um, Liquitex ink for this because I want that brown in there. So that's what I'm doing for the shadows because he's going to have a a bunch of different colors to him. See, like here, I don't want too much darkness, so I'm going to give it a little bit there. You know, these are the little scaly parts of them. But I do want some shadow in certain spots. Now to get up underneath his man skirt there, like right in there, you give him a little shadow there. That's a little bit too much ink there, but that's all right. I can always work with that. So I'm asked a lot. You know, I'm no, I'm not an expert on inks, guys, but I know a lot of guys, they ask me about them, and I tell them, look, if you're going to use ink, you better be sure because ink, once you use it, you are committed. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You'll be committed to the ink. And you can see like certain spots there. I want those dark. I want that dark up here. I don't want too much darkness, but I want that brown in certain spots. Um, like up in here. I can always go back. And touch it up if it's too dark or if it's too light. But the paints I'm going to be using, I'm gonna I'm gonna dilute them. So here we go. Here, as you see, I'm just building his uh, his muscle tone because all that there'll be colors on top of that. Happy New Year there, Stuart. So, again, I'm just, um, this is not the color he's going to be. This is just uh, the color of the shading that's going to be like, 
like on these rough parts here, if you look at the predator, he's got like dark spots right here by his these little scales. So that'll all, I'm just laying down where I want those to be, like here. If you look at his skin from the movie, it's not uniform, but there is a distinct color to him. So I know Mike's watching. I keep breaking these things off. I'm, you know, I'm just going to end up nipping them off right here, and he's not going to have them because I'm sure the uh, guys that do it with a paintbrush don't have a problem, but I'm not a paintbrush painter for the most part. So I am forever snapping those things off. Thank you, Mike, for sending me that other set. As you see, it went for not because I ended up snapping them off again. Sorry about that, bro. One went flying. One's there. And I don't know where the other one went, but I'll fix it. I'll take these off. He doesn't really need them. He just, I'll have one without it. That's all. All right, so. There's the basic. That's not his going to be his color because as you, as you see here, I've got um, from fan. I got this moon ray flesh. I've got uh, the fairy tale flesh from Minotaur. These two. These two. These two. Different kind of rose pinks. Um, some elfic flesh. There's going to be a, 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 a assortment of color to this, you know. So he's got whites on him. He's got different color to him. So all I want to do right now is I'm building up his uh, his shadows. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll go back in, you know, with an airbrush and a paintbrush because I, I use both. But I'm more comfortable with an airbrush, as you can see. That's more my speed. All right. So, again, what I am shooting here right now is Liquitex ink. And I'm just establishing <laughs> so what's going on gentlemen how you guys doing let's see we've got uh, Stuart Mike Lee what's going on Lee so again I'm just adding ink here all this is gonna have a top coat on top of it so you can blend it all in so all I want to do right at this moment is just, it gives me where my shadow is going to be. All right, let's see, like right in here. You get too much, you just do that with your finger, takes it right off. And up underneath his neck there. Get a little dark there because that's going to be a shadow right in here, right in there. And then, of course, the horns. Those will probably all be paintbrushed. But there he is. For, for right now, that's his basic. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. 
you're not one to lay uh, ink, but you lay some pipe from time to time. <laughs> so, yeah, just establishing shadows, guys. That's all I'm doing. And there's going to be a bunch of different layers of paint on it. If you look at all the source material, there's a lot of there's a lot of colors on this bad boy. So what I want to do is I want to least I want to build up all the shadows here, and then I'll work from there. So all this will they'll have overlaying colors on top of it. So. And again, I mean, there's some guys that can do this phenomenally with a paintbrush. James Wapel, you got Lynn Stahl, those people, kind of people, Caleb, you know, me. I prefer to work with an airbrush for most of my work, not all of it, because I do use a paintbrush. But I'll use a, an airbrush for most of my work. See, and in here, get the fingers there, get the inside that bicep there. There's a, as you can see, there's a little black in there. But what I'm doing is shooting over the black with the sepia, and that gives me a real nice color. And up under that ass there, he's probably going, woo! -hoo! All right, let me show you the detail on this thing, guys. Now that I got his shadows, like I said, this is not his his, his color. <sighs> yeah, I broke it again. Uh, it just happened a few minutes ago. I, I was real careful with it, Mike. I'm sitting there doing this, and as I turned it like this in my hand, plow, they I snapped them both off. So you know what? I'm just going to leave them off. Thank you for sending me those, man. It's my bad. It's not something you did. It's my fault. But there it is, guys. And and that what you see there, this color is Badger Steiner Res. You can get this here in the States under Steiner Res. You can get it in the UK under UMP. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm almost positive they have this color under UMP also. Um, and then what I've done is I've gone over it. with. I took some, some of this, some Liquitex ink. There's like four drops to two drops of water to make it very, very, very thin. And that's what I shot over it. I've got the, the basic paint color inside his mouth. That I used um, Fairy Tale Flesh from Minotaur, Badger Minotaur, Fairy Tale Flesh. That's the inside of the mouth. That's nowhere near done. I got to go in there with some, you know, some ghost tints and, you know, some inks and stuff to get it, give it that, you know, that look, you know. Um, but yeah, there he is. So far, this is what he looks. Now I'm gonna do this again. Sorry about that, Mike. That's my bad. But um, at least he's got to get back to the Xbox. Thanks. Hey, Happy New Year, Lee. But I wanted to show you guys. There it is. You know, um, look at the detail on this. I mean, I don't know how good. I know, like Facebook, if I don't pay, they'll throttle my 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 feed down to three whatever. So if I want to get a 720 or a 1080 or a 4K, I got to cough up this, but I'm not coughing that up. So you see all, now you can see all the little ridges here in his back, on his arms. You see him really nice if I can get that to focus on his head. So, but that's, uh, that's the basics. Now I got to go in now with all the little, all these colors and start laying all that flesh and i gotta lay in some blue like here a little blue a little bit blue you know to give it a, a little green you know just to probably mix them you know give it that 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 look because if you look at images he's got that colors to him he's got a little bit of very slight hint of pinkish flesh tone to this there's blue in that there's a little green in there a turquoise you know so that's what i'm going to do with this guy so I'm going to get uh, go watch my Bears game. You guys have a good one, man. Have a great Sunday. Uh, if I don't see you guys before that, Happy New Year, each and every one of you. I hope you uh, stay safe. Drive careful. Be good to your families, man. 
Love your children. Leave the drama to the Queen's man and build or paint a model. You guys have a good one. Good night.